So you're just jumping back into Destiny 2 because you want to see what Solo 3.0 is all about and you have no idea what is going on in the Derelict Leviathan, let alone know what the Derelict Leviathan is. Well, I'm here to help you out. What's up guys, Reckless here and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to finish the Nightmare Containment public event. For starters, this public event is a three tiered public event. Each tier has a few objectives that need to be completed in order to move on. There are some mechanics to each tier, but nothing over the top hard. When you complete a tier, you move up into the next tier. It's pretty simple, but a lot is happening all at once and it can be confusing to a new player if you don't know what to do. In order to start the public event, you need to go to the Castellum or Containment and place the Harvester as my buddy is doing right here. In tier 1, as will spawn and you will need to defeat enemies to bind Shards of Dread. Killing enemies with Dread in their name and bringing the orb that they drop to the Harvester will give you 5 points towards the bind. Once you slam an orb next to the Harvester, a relic that looks like a scythe will appear. And I will say, go ahead and use it. It does tons of damage. And it's extremely fun to use. In the next phase, you will need to kill all the yellow bar scions that are named Atavist Illusion. This will spawn more scions called Egregor Atavis. There will be two of them. These scions are inside a bubble and you need to walk into their bubble and melee them in order to kill them. Shooting them will not do any damage to them. Do that and you will move on into the third phase. In the third phase, it's pretty much a repeat of phase one, but there will be a lot more enemies and the dreaded enemies will be stronger and have larger health pools. In the final phase of tier one, you will fight the nightmare boss and he can actually be two phased. Once you do enough damage to the boss, they will become immune and resonant splinters will spawn in the air. Destroy the two resonant splitters in order to bring the boss's shield back down. And you can actually do this with a shotgun or fusion rifle. And it usually takes one shot to bring these splinters down. When all of the splinters are down, you can DPS the boss again and kill him. After tier one is complete, a heavy chest will spawn, but it will also fill up all of your ammo for all of the other weapons that you have as well. Then you will have 57 seconds to find the next harvester location and place the harvester in order to start tier two. And the next location will be marked down on the screen. Tier two is pretty much the same as tier one, except that you'll get a lot more ads that are harder to kill, but the same concept is there. Defeat enemies to spawn shards of dread and overload dread enemies will actually spawn as well. After that, you will need to defeat Egregor Atavis, but this time there will actually be four of them instead of two. Once you complete that, you are gonna have to defeat more enemies to bind shards of dread. And then when it comes to the boss fight, the boss can also be two phased. However, when the boss puts up their shield, there will be four resonant splinters this time instead of just two. Destroy them and then melt the boss down and then go ahead and move on to tier three. At the start of tier three, we will go straight into the boss fight. You'll be fighting a nightmare version of the machinist. Tier three has three phases of boss damage. Do as much damage as you can until the boss becomes immune. The boss will periodically spawn ads during the entire encounter as well, so make sure you watch out for that. Once the boss becomes immune, you will have to destroy six resonant splinters as well as two shielded emissary of elixirs, which are abominations. And this will happen in two of the phases. Go ahead and destroy all of the resonant splinters in order to damage the abominations. A night terror will also spawn. Sometimes it will be only just one, and then other times it'll actually be two. Kill the Night Terrors and deposit the orb in the Harvest in order to gain access to the room that has the Callous Bobblehead. Be careful because at this point there are tons of ads shooting all over the place as well as a lot of Screebs that will be running around exploding. After everything is destroyed and dead, focus back onto the boss and repeat the same process over again until the boss is dead. Once the boss is dead, you can loot the chest and if you have enough Vestige of Dread that you can actually get from completing activities on the Derelict Leviathan, you can bind Vestiges of Dread at the Harvester for additional rewards. 
And that's pretty much it for the Nightmare Containment. Now that Callus Bobblehead is actually located in the door to the left if you spawned in this area if you selected the Containment Mode when you first started. Now go ahead and let me know down in the comments if this helped you guys out or if you guys have any other questions about the Nightmare Containment. Now my friends brings us to the end of the video. If you're new here, feel free to subscribe to my channel and like the video if you enjoyed it and I will see you guys in the next one. Hey. Hey you, watch these videos too. I know you like them. Go, 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 go.